Shalom. I want to start off saying all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shai. Um, double honors to the apostles, the elders out on Great and Great Millstone out of New York. Um, and salutations to all the brothers across the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in sincerity and truth. And Shalom to the few sisters out there that do listen to us. Um, I just want to start off this lesson. You know, more morely getting into the, the end times. And um I might get on your coons a little bit, you know, where, wherever the spirit lead it, you know, but um no. excuse me. The nations, you know, the nations are revving up, you know, and, and um you niggas still around here calling yourself black, you know, you people still around here thinking you Mexicans and shit like that and and, and this word is being preached week in and week out. This word is really being preached every day via the unicorn, the internet, YouTube, shit. Um, you know, you can even look at little, see little shit on social media and shit about the Israelites. Google, ultimately Google. It don't take nothing for you niggas to um, Google Israelites. Um, Google Hebrew. Google what color is Jesus. Or, you know who the world called Jesus. You know. And, and and but but you know you know Jake Hard hit it you know the gates of um, repentance is open you know for the elect so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get into the scriptures man and um I probably want to start is that first address not a second I think it's second address let me get this let me get this let me get this let me get this Took it and drank and grew my brain. Nah, that one ain't it. That one not it. I could definitely call me a lucky fella again. Bear with me, Israel. I ain't write this down. It's a lock here. This is just something, you know, in my spirit. Here, here, go right here. It's second address to eighth chapter. But understand, let me see. Okay, Con. This is second Ezra's eight, and I'm gonna start at um fifty-six. Um, and this is basically talking about you Israelites, because it is really the door of repentance is open, but it is it's, it's really, you know what I'm saying, only for the elect. Man, it, it did a big thunder. <laughs> All praises, you know, to how Bosh and how shot. Did a big thunder when I said that. For when they had taken liberty, they despised the law. Salakia, they despised the most high and thought scorn of his law and forsook his ways. Moreover, they trotted down the righteousness. And what that means, he said, they despised the most high, thought scorn of his law and forsook his ways. They wanted to eat their fucking catfish. They wanted to eat pork. You know, they wanted to joke at you. They looked at the holy garment, you know, according to the law, with the blue and the fringes um, that, that the Most High commanded us to wear. Said we was wearing dresses and shit. They wanted to follow these faggots like Shaka Atmos, Sarah Suit and Seti. All these niggas despise the Most High law. That, like that bastard, poor light, polite, that fucking nigga, take the Bible and shoot it. Hey man, the Lord's gonna kill these niggas, man. And they openly seen the prophets. They seen the prophets with their eyes, man. They had conversations with them. So them and all their followers, man, they straight, they straight fucking condemn, man. They straight fucking condemn. Alright? So um it says, Moreover, verse 57, second Edris 8 and 57. Moreover, they have trotted down the righteous and said in their heart that there is no God, yea. And knowing that, they must die. And that's what them, especially them Egyptologists niggas, man. That's what they do, man. Oh, it ain't the God. I'm the God. You look in the God. You see the sky. The sun is the God. All this bull. The black woman is the God. Right. The God of what? Hey, man, a black woman ain't God of shit, man. The God of what? Child support? The God of abortion? The God of adultery? Hey, man, and the list goes on, man. You niggas out of whack, man. The woman was made to take to take care of a man, to procreate, and, and to be a helpmate, a servant, man. The God of what? 
uncleanliness, raising these damn dope fiends and faggots. Please, man. Anyway, you Israelites are out of fucking order, man. And I'm talking about you 12 tribes, the black, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are out of fucking line. All right. Moreover, verse 57, I'm going to read this again. Moreover, they have trotted down his righteous and said in their heart that there is no God. And that knowing they must die for as the things aforesaid shall receive you. So thirst and pain are prepared for them. Thirst and pain, man. And what that's talking about is that famine in these concentration camps in this time of Jacob's trouble that spoke about. And that's the, uh, I think it's the book of Jeremiah. Um, that's coming. Thirst and pain. Like, you niggas ain't just finna get shot in the head and die. You know what I'm saying? Or shot like fucking Ricky and fall in the alley and bleed out. No, nah, man. They got these concentration camps. They got these torches. They got these guillotines. They got these wooden horses. They, they, they really gonna get medieval on y'all ass for real, man. They got these ancient torture devices. They gonna starve you. They gonna starve your little kids. According to the Book of Lamentations, they gonna make you eat your kids. You going back into the siege, nigga. Y'all going back into the siege, man. The devil is gonna show his horns for real. Alright? And it's because you niggas been disobedient. Okay? As for as the things the four said shall receive you, so thirst and pain are prepared for them. So it was not for his it was not his will that men should come to not. It wasn't the will of the most highs, um, for the most highs people to come to not. Just like in Deuteronomy the twenty eighth chapter, in the same um chapter as the curses, is the same chapter as the blessings. From one through fifteen, the most high told you, you know, the things that you should do and the things and the things that he's gonna do for you and how great he was gonna make you and um how he was gonna provide for you, man. That that was the most high's will, man. That's that's the most high had intent for you niggas, but but just like he said, I think it's in that chapter. As as um as pleasurable, you know I'm paraphrasing it, as pleasurable it was, you know, to, to provide for you, he had that same pleasure in destroying you if you didn't listen. And um well, you know our people, so I ain't got to tell that story, you know, because they don't listen to anything. All right, verse 60. But they, but they which be created have defiled the name of him who made them and were unthankful unto him which prepared life for them. The Most High prepared eternal life for you, and you was unthankful for him, man. But a nigga give you a goddamn joint, you're going to be like little Bobby and shit. Thanks, Ray Ray. That's, that's how you niggas is, man. You niggas like death, man. All right, and, and the Most High is going to give it to you. It's, it's going to be a bloodbath, man. And you're going to die with these crackers that you love so much. And a lot of you going to die by the hands of these crackers you love so much. That's why in Revelations, um, he said that the blood is going to be to the horse's bridle, man. That's a big bloodbath in America that's going to happen. All right? That the Bible calls Babylon. According to Isaiah, the 47th chapter, according to Revelations, um, the 18th chapter, and, and many more scriptures. Behold, the Salakia. I'm um, right. Verse, verse 61, Second Ezra 8, and I'm going to start back at 61. Therefore is my judgment now at hand. These things I have not shown unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee. Then answered and said I, Behold, O Lord, now hast thou showed me the multitude of wonders, of the wonders which will begin to be in the last times. So that's this time right now. He said, um, But at what time thou hast not showed me? Because he didn't show Ezra that mystery. He just showed him the things that was going to happen. But like Yahweh Shah said, no man know at the day or the time which is the Father. He knew it was going to be at the end, but he didn't know exactly when it was going to happen. But the Lord is showing you right now through all this shit that's happening. He's giving us the signs of the times. Um, and you can, uh, that's plain in Matthew the 24th chapter, man. When um, Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus Christ, said, um, he said there will be um, troublesome times. I think he said wars and rumors of wars. And we watching that unfold 
right now before our eyes in um, the Valley of Jehoshaphat, man. Over there in the Middle East, man. You know, all the nations, he said all the nations uh, will be gathered there, man, in the Valley of Judgment. The Valley of Decision, man. They right there, man. Right there on the borders. Right there. You got Russian troops over here, man. American troops every goddamn well. Martial law, FEMA camps, um, race riots. Um, like he said in the book of Ezra, that's it. Be seditious among men. The Egyptians against the Egyptians. All these governments against each other. All these nations against each other. Homosexuality at an all-time high, man. Homosexuality is key. Every nation that got destroyed was, when it got destroyed, homosexuality was at an all-time high. Rome, Sodom, you know the fucking Greeks, America, them fags in Egypt. Hey, them niggas was doing everything in Egypt, man. You better believe that, man. You better believe it. Because this Egypt all over again, man. You niggas always wanted to be like those um those freaky nations, man. Doing all manner of um abominations, man. But these are the times we coming into, man. And the doors of repentance are open, man. You repent, come back to your nationality, come back to your hedge. This is not a um religion. You know, this is a bloodline. And a blood this is the bloodline of our forefathers, and this is the culture that um the heritage that the Most High gave us, that, that we lost um, through slavery and um, serving this, 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 um, this filthy ass, this filthy ass white man, all right? Okay, let me, let me get the scripture, Israel, Salakia, bear with me. Okay, yeah, this is Jeremiah Salaki. This is um, Lamentations um, 3. This is Lamentations 3 and 21. This I recall to mind, therefore I have hope. It is, through, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. All right, they are new every morning and great is thy faithfulness. Because the Most High, you know, he's compassionate and he's giving you niggas, um, you know, like I was saying, a space to repent, a door of repentance. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures say his mercies fail not. But, hey, man, his wrath is the same way, man. So if, if you niggas ain't waking up, man, you're going to get that death, man. That that death via um, concentration camps, um, via famine, via purge. Because cause real... Purge like shit is going down, and, and since we in Lamentations, matter of fact, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this one right here since since we in Lamentations. Oh, I'm gonna get this. This is um. This is um, Lamentations four, and I'm gonna read ten. Since I'm speaking on those times, matter of fact, I'm gonna start at nine. They, matter of fact, I'm gonna start at eight. Their visage is blacker than coal. And that lets you know he's talking about niggas right there because he said their appearance is blacker than coal. They are not known in the streets. Their, their skin cleave it because the nations don't look at They ain't not known in the streets, man. A white man walk, look at your ass, man. Look at nobody, man. They are not known in the streets. Their skin cleave it to their bones. It is with it. It has become like a stick. And these is, this is talking about those times that the Jacob's trouble that's coming up, man. That you niggas could repent for. You you know the door's still open. Um, they that are slain with the sword are better than they that are slain with the hunger. That's why I was saying you you ain't gonna just die like Ricky, man. You know he was slain with the sword, but the Most High prepared your your destiny for a lot of you niggas, man. Y'all y'all gonna die in that goddamn family, man. It ain't gonna be no joke. Lord willing, I'll be delivered from it. And the ones that sincere. For these pine away, shrieking through want of the fruits of the field. Because it ain't going to be no fool, man. It ain't going to be. Even if you take that RFID chip, man, with the promise of some food or some type of money or, or whatever the white man push. Hey, man, a white man is a, a liar, man. He's been a liar forever. Every treaty he made with the Native Americans, man. And indigenous people to this land, he broke. 
Then he put us in slavery, made treaties with us, like the fucking Jim Crow laws and shit. Broke. He break his own laws. He don't even have laws. He have unrighteous decrees, according to the book Isaiah um, 10 and starting at 1. Hey, you know, the white man's a piece of shit, so don't, don't believe him, man, and take that damn RFID chip. Because if you do, you fucked. Okay. It said, verse 10, Lamentations 4 and 10. The hands of the pitiful women have sodden their own children. And, and that mean they cooked them, man. The pitiful hands of the women have sodden their own children. They were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people. The Lord hath accomplished his fury. He hath poured out his fierce anger. He hath kindled the fire in Zion, and it hath devoured the foundation thereof. Because the Lord, the Lord got to punish his people, man. He, he got to open up on y'all ass, man. Y'all going to get these things, man. It, 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 man, it, it, it's, it's time to repent, man. The Most High, you know, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, man, he, he ain't playing no guy. Like, like no type of games with you coons, man. Whether you want to, um, whether you want to deal with Esau, you know, or not, or think, or, or think, um, or think that the white man is going to give you some type of salvation, man. Hey, man, this man is a devil, man. The scripture said he was alive from the beginning. I, I'm not going to get too deep into this, man. You know what I'm saying? But when all hell break loose, man, hey, man, good riddance, man. I'm going to get another scripture. I'm going to get one more scripture for you. This is, um, this is, um, it's coming out the book of Isaiah. It's coming out the book of Isaiah. Um, okay. For, cause, you, Cause you niggas love joining to the white man too, man. Look, repent, man. It's fucking snap out of it. All right, this is the only thing to do. The truth is the only thing you really should be doing now. Okay, uh, this is Isaiah 13 and verse. Um, I'm starting 14. And it shall be as the chase roe, as the sheep that no man taketh up. They shall turn every man to his own people. Cause it ain't it ain't gonna be right with the Black Lives Matter shit. It it ain't gonna be no. Black Lives Matter, man. All lives matter. No. The Arabs gonna go to their countries or, or they group of people that they got. The whites gonna go to the whites. The blacks, oh, you niggas gonna try to go to the whites and they gonna fuck you up, man. And the Lord gonna have them elect men out here. When it's, and when it's time to hunt, man, oh, man. Yeah, how about Shimmy? How was I put that spirit on us, man? I, I'm, I, I wanna see you niggas run with a cracker, man. You know? That's why we gonna have to put the elect, man, you know, are going to put niggas to death, man. All right. And they shall run every man to his own people and flee every one to his own land. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. And everyone that is joined to them shall fall by the sword, man. So when the Lord put this judgment on Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, if you marching like these clowns, you know, in the so-called Black Lives Matter movement that's headed by a white man and has white people and, and gooks or so forth or whoever, you know, think black lives. Hey, fuck a black life, man. We are Israelites, man. Black culture ain't did shit but about homosexuality, drug dealing, pimping, adultery, fucking all type gang banging. That, that's black culture, man. We ain't black, man. We the Israelites that the Most High chose, man, to be kings. And, and, and priests and rulers on this earth and to put the nations in subjections and to serve you, how about shame how was shy? Nothing else, man. That black shit brought everything other than that. That black culture is, a, is the residue of slavery that we still sucking off the plate like some fucking monkeys. Fuck BET, man. All right. Their children shall be dashed into pieces. Because it, it ain't going to be no um, sparing in that time, man. The spirit of judgment is is out. Their children also shall be dashed into pieces their, before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled. You know, meaning it's going to be all out purge. All right? That's why they make these movies, man. They, they revving up the spirits, man, with their media. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives shall be ravished. 
And, and rape is coming back in a big fashion for you women who want to be on the internet, shaking your ass, walking around in these hard lots, um, clothes, you know, saying that the black man ain't shit, niggas ain't shit. Oh, man. Phew. Hey, man, that rape coming back in a big fashion, man. And it's going to be y'all judgment. I'm talking about brutal, all-out rape. Their wives and their wives ravage. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver. And as far as gold, they do not delight in it, man. Because these other nations, man, especially these Russians, man, the most high stirring these nations up, these Russians, um, North North Korea, man, they ain't regarding them. The white man ain't got no more money, man. He, he liked the bully. America liked the bully. I knocked you out, I knocked you out, I knocked you out, but I had the money and I had the guns to defeat you so you ain't get up. But now through the years, I've been getting old and I've been decreasing. Now I'm old, I'm wrinkled, I'm bankrupt. Now you got the gold, you got the fucking missile technology, you got the... What you think he gonna do, man? These nations gonna, gonna fucking wipe this place. Hey man, America ain't out for war, man. These guys are pussies, man. These Russians ain't finna regard that silver or gold that America ain't got anyway, man. China, none of them. North Korea, these people want to wipe this fucking place off the map. All right? And it's about to be all out chaos. You see what's happening in Turkey. You see what's happening in Venezuela. You see what's been happening in Greece. You, you see what's been happening uh, with the Syrians and shit. Like, this shit ain't finna be a game in America. You, you niggas playing poke catching Pokemon. The nations are apping for war, man. Behold, I will serve the Medes against them, which shall regard silver, which shall not, Salaki, which shall not regard silver as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bowl shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have pity, no pity on the fruit of the womb, the little babies, you know, the fruit of the womb, neither shall, nor shall that spare, uh, spare children, man. It's finna go down. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldeans, which is America, Babylon, excellency shall be when Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. There you go, man. And, and that homosexuality is at a height, man. And that, hey, when homosexuality is at a height, uh, which is one of the biggest abominations you commit against the Most High, the land is gonna be destroyed, man. So the gate of repentance is open, man. You know, hopefully you are the elect and you snap out of it. But if not, hey man, starting from the elder apostles, you know, uh, the elders that taught them, the elder apostles of GMS that taught us, um, all the way to the bottom, man. The prophets been out here warning you niggas, man. We piped the good, like Yahweh Shai said, and I think that's um, Matthew, is he the Matthew 11? It's probably John 11. But he talked about how as a hen gathered her chicks, we piped, we played for you in the marketplace. Hey, hey, you niggas didn't dance, man. So, um, hey, good, good riddance, man. But if hopefully you want to elect, the doors of repentance are open and you get into this thing, man. But, uh, man, if, if, if not, man, hey, sayonara, sucker. But with that being said, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. Howard Bar Shemmy, Howard Shai, devil honors to the apostles. And it was a great millstone who, who taught us and, you know, who ruled well. And salutations um, to the Akim. Pushing this word in sincerity and truth. Shalom.